Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Um, we're here at Whaling City Ford. That's my local Ford dealership. And we got the parts for my truck, the F-350 7.3 liter. So this is what I needed, really. It's in the packaging right now. But this O-ring, this little freaking O-ring right here was the source of all this trouble. I guess it failed initially with the previous owner and so he decided to silicone it which didn't hold up very long um, so that got a whole new dipstick and the tube because the other one was kind of bent messed up so we're gonna go ahead and install this thing all right I don't have much time for intro so we're just gonna get in and get to it I'll leave all the um all the part numbers and everything in the description if you guys need some of these parts let me know all right first thing we want to do is disconnect both batteries put the terminals off to the side stick them somewhere where they're not contacting any metal all right so the thing about this starter that I'm pretty sure I didn't have with my early 99 starter is that there's a bolt back here so this is underneath the truck. That's the starter. There's two bolts, 17 millimeter, one, two. And then there's a third one. I took it out, but it's like right over there. So you're gonna have to put a six inch extension on the three eighths drive and go behind it. Go behind it and uh, get it out of there. The rest are pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and loosen these up as well. All right, I was able to get the starter out. I put it to the side. I know a lot of you say, hey, you should definitely uh, take that off. But I'm not gonna do all that. So do what you gotta do, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I'm gonna try to reroute that dipstick now to the top here. And it should snap right in with that o-ring and be airtight oil um oil and water tight so let's see what's up all right guys we're done i think we got it well we're not done yet so this is what i had to do i ran into some issues i couldn't find for the life of me oh my god this is bad for the life of me i could not find where the dipstick went and where the mounting bolts were i tried to look for videos and whatnot couldn't find it so i found the best way to do it without bending the tube without messing anything up i don't think and honestly i really don't care because at the end of the day i just need this thing to stop leaking and to accept the amount of oil that it takes and to hold it there i really don't need to check the levels unless i think it's leaking if it's leaking, I'll keep track of it and whatever. Um, I mean, the, the dipstick sh still should function. So let me just show you guys. So it's in the proper place. I don't think it's supposed to go that high. So maybe something like that. But it's where it needs to go. It's not bent at all. What I had to do was I had to cut this. Um, I took my angle grinder and cut this bracket off because it was interfering with the intercooler now i saw in the videos it's supposed to go somewhere around this area somewhere around there and i unplugged this to try to find that area no luck so anyway i it's there and it's not going nowhere the leak has stopped i'll give i'll show you guys right now all right much better we stopped leaking well that plus most of it is on the ground now um we're just gonna clean everything up i want to while i'm down here i want to put some degreaser on everything to, just to clean everything up so in case there is another leak i know where it's coming from so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna put the starter back on all three bolts and then we're gonna proceed with the oil change which includes taking that bolt out, um, dumping the oil into a bucket, and then um, 
taking the oil filter out, replacing everything. You know how it goes, guys. I'll show you. All right, I got the starter up. Still haven't degreased it. Um, I just figured out I don't have any, so I'm going to stop at the auto parts store and grab some. But next, we're going to start draining this. I know I should have probably did this in the beginning, but I was more focused on getting the dipstick in there. So we're going to start draining it now. Let's hit it with a 17 milli. This probably shouldn't be much in there to drain. All right, next we take a oil wrench, I mean a strap wrench or oil filter wrench, and then we hit it with that. All right, once you got that loose, you should be able to take the rest out with your hand. There is oil, so have a pan uh, or a bucket ready. All right, we got our oil for the 7.3 liter and our Motocraft oil filter. We got Shell 15W40 Rotella. These are our one gallon containers. I got four of them because we need about 15 quarts. I know that there's an extra quart in the H-pop in these trucks in the um, in the oil system. There's a uh, a high pressure oil pump, or what us in the 7.3 liter diesel world call an H-pop, and that holds an extra quart of oil. You're supposed to open that up right there with a Torx and put a little pump in there and try to pump it out. I'm not gonna do all that all day because, I mean, today because I already changed this oil not too long ago, so I know that oil's good. So I'm not really gonna do all that extra work. I'm just gonna go ahead, refill and change that filter and put her all back together and start her up. Let's see what we do. All right, so you know the drill. We're gonna start by pouring our oil into the filter before we pop it back in. I like to fill it about three quarters of the way full because it's at an angle. So if you fill it up too much, it's gonna end up spilling out anyway. Let's go ahead and get the edges. And then we wanna get this O-ring. That's really important to get a proper seal. So we'll go ahead and cover that O-ring with a coat of oil. All right, now we just pop this back in there. And we should be good to go. All right. I know they say hand tighten it. I like to hand tighten it and then give it a twist with the uh, strap wrench. Filter wrench, I mean. Pop the drain bolt back on. Right, we got that in place. We got the cap back on as well. One thing I like to do whenever I change my oil is write the date on the oil filter so I know when was the last time I did it. Right, then one last thing. We just gotta tighten up all the battery terminals. I should put some Coca-Cola on these, clean them with a wire brush. But we're gonna secure everything, tighten it all up, and then give it a start. All right, here goes. Let's just let everything cycle up. Low battery. All right, we got the Odyssey connected to it, and now we're just gonna jump her up. Oh man, I thought I was recording. Anyway, it started right up. No leaks. We'll just let it sit and uh, let everything circulate. Should be good to go.